Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Wiggler panel to add a little wiggle to your animations. Wiggler is just one of many ways that you can apply wiggle or random movement to different properties in After Effects. You'll find the Wiggler panel in After Effects. If you go to the top menu, click on Window, Wiggler. I'll drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna select the background layer and I'll tap on P for position property. I'll click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. And if you look at the wiggler, you'll see that most of the settings are grayed out as you need at least two keyframes in order to use the wiggler. So I'll move the playhead forward in time. I'll just move this background layer a little bit. Now we've got a little bit of movement. And if I select both of these keyframes, now you'll see I'm able to change the settings of the wiggler. I'm going to change this from temporal graph to spatial path. I'll change the noise type from smooth to jagged because I want a more stop motion feel. For dimensions, I'll keep it at all independently because I want it completely random. Then you have frequency and magnitude. If you've ever used the wiggle expression, frequency, the first number, is telling you how often or how fast the animation moves. And the second number, Magnitude, or you might see it as amplitude, is telling you how much it's moving in terms of pixels. So with both keyframes selected, I can just adjust these numbers, then click apply. And as soon as I click apply, the wiggler is going to put random keyframes in between these two keyframes. So I'll click apply. You'll see now we have a wiggle, random movement, but as soon as it gets to the second keyframe, the animation stops. I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo that. If I want the wiggler to go for the entire duration of the composition, I could space these keyframes apart, but maybe you have an intro animation that you like and you don't want to disrupt that animation. So I'll just drag the playhead or the CTI to the end. I'll click on this little diamond to add a keyframe. Now I'm going to select all three of these keyframes. To do so, I'm just going to click on the position property. Now they're all selected. I can make any adjustments I want. And when I click apply, it's going to apply keyframes in between these two keyframes and then in between these two keyframes. So I'll click apply, tap the spacebar, and now we've got the wiggler working for the entire duration of the timeline on the position property. Pretty cool. And remember, you only need two keyframes to use the wiggler. So if I tap R to bring up the rotation, I've set two keyframes for kind of a drastic rotation right in the middle. So if I only want the wiggler to work in between these two keyframes, I'm gonna select them by clicking on the rotation property. I'm gonna to go to the wiggler panel. I'll make adjustments here. So I'll just crank this up to go really extreme here so you can see it. I'll click apply. You'll see the keyframes were added only between those two keyframes. So first we have the position wiggler. Then when it gets to the rotation, it's gonna go pretty drastic for a couple seconds. And then we go back to just the position. So it's completely up to your imagination how you make the wiggler work. And if you want to make any changes, just select the property where you added the wiggler. It's only going to show you the last applied settings. But if you have all the keyframes selected, you can simply update the settings, then click apply, and that will update the animation. And that is the wiggler in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.